Hey everybody, this is TJ Cates and Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Tell them who you're with today. Bobby Braddock. Yeah, do y'all recognize him? I saw him when he came in. Now, I recognize you from a music video with Blake Shelton, but you've also wrote He Stopped Loving Her Today by George Jones, yeah. but also by Bobby. That's right. Now, we did a lot of talking, man. I'm just going to hold the microphone and let you talk. Let's talk about songwriting. Let's talk about all the things that you've done with publishing okay. and producing. Okay. And let's just, go, let's just go with it and tell everybody what we're doing. You tell me. <laughs> let's talk about um, how you... Okay. That's easy. Okay, let's see that. Just tell the truth. I'll just tell now the you truth. Actually, we're at Tammy, we're remembering Tammy one out today. Now, you actually knew Tammy, and you worked on some of her music, right? Uh, well, she, she recorded uh, about 19 songs of mine, and George Jones recorded uh, 29. George Jones recorded 29 of your songs. Yeah. Now, where do you get the songwriting from? Where does it come from? Uh, you just... You just have to tell yourself this is better than working for a living, you know. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And you, and we talked a minute ago, and I'll go into um, Blake Shelton in a second, but I think it's interesting how you rode the whole wave because you also wrote three books, and you have the third book that's out right now, and it's, uh, it's on Amazon, and we talked about how no, the, the third one's not out yet. I just, oh, okay. I just fin finished it, but the other two are on the market, though, yeah. When do you expect it to come out? Uh, don't know. I haven't gotten it to a publisher yet. I have a couple of places I'm going to take it, but uh, the first one was with Louisiana State University Press, and the second was uh, with uh, Vanderbilt University Press in, in uh, Nashville. Yeah. Man, you got some contacts. I think that's amazing. Now, let's talk about Blake. <laughs> He's got so many jokes, y'all. Let's talk about Blake Shelton. Um, now, you actually worked on his... Let's keep talking about songwriting. I'm just trying to. I know when he goes in the store, y'all, it's going to be like Elvis walks in the building. So he hasn't hit the big stage yet. <laughs> okay. Well, we're here today for this Tammy Tammy Winnett annual event, and she recorded a, a, a one I wrote when I, I think I was maybe three years old, four years old. <laughs> D I V O R C E, and and uh, uh, she recorded several of mine. George recorded. He stopped loving her today. I wrote uh, uh, Time Marches On that Tracy Lawrence did. Uh, I want to talk about me, Toby Keith. Uh, God is great, beer is good, people are crazy. Uh, Billy Currington. Oh, and George and Tammy recorded uh, Golden Ring, too. So it's just a few of my songs there. Yeah. I ran into Tracy Lawrence. I enjoyed our buffet today. I don't know if you got to eat with us, but I like meat and three. I like vegetables. And I was over um, off Music Row one day, and I was, I, there's a little meat and three place, and I saw Tracy Lawrence. And we're Facebook friends, and he came over and said hi to me and stuff. But he was actually in town recording with a bunch of different people. So these guys that have a legacy and they have songs like you've written for them, they're still hitting it pretty hard. What do you think? I see classic country coming back. Well, to an extent, there are a couple of artists out there that actually use this instrument. One is called the steel guitar, the other is the fiddle, <laughs> and they're using them on their records. John Party is one, the other is Midland. So uh, uh, I think there's there's a bit of a resurgence of the... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're located right in front of the busiest room in the house. That's okay. <laughs> and, and, and uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think to an extent there is, and... and uh, I, Merle Haggard's son Ben is a great country singer, and I, two or three labels want to sign him, and he's definitely going to be traditional country, you know. Now um, we've had Wade Jennings on the show, and he's he's uh, the grandson of Waylon, and the sound that comes out from them is pretty natural, mm -hmm. and I think that's good. And you're talking about Ben Haggard, so um, let's talk about these instruments. It's a steel guitar and a fiddle. Well, they kind of took an absence, you know three or four years ago as those are the traditional uh, uh, part of country music and they've been away but I'm hearing them back again so I think I mean I don't expect to see everything suddenly turn into just pure country music like it was years ago because music always changes it would be kind of weird if it didn't you know and the change doesn't bother me it does some people but it's, it's natural you know so you adapt your songwriting a little bit to the current ways of music yeah absolutely and what I like is when you do hear the steel guitar and they, they're winding it down and you hear a fiddle, it kind of gets a crowd excited. And that's what we're hearing today from Tammy's music. Right, absolutely, yeah. And you're going to play you're going to play the piano in just a little bit? I'm going to accompany my daughter and sing harmony with her while she does some of the songs, uh, some of the hits I wrote for Tammy. And uh, 
and you were asking about Blake Shelton. You said I, I produced his uh, first four albums. That's neat. And got him a deal, and uh, very proud of him. And pr proud of how he's doing on TV now too. Yeah, he's a TV star. People really nationwide. They really like him. Yeah, that TV camera loves him. It does. I mean, he's 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 doing great. I'm very very happy for him. I think everybody likes him because Blake Shelton seems to really get excited and he's having fun. He's not. I don't see the boy reading a lot of cue cards. I see him just saying stuff and having fun. He really likes to see people succeed. So maybe he got that from you, or he's trying to help people out. No, that's just the way he is. And 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 what you see on TV, that's. That's the Blake I know. That's the, that's the way he is. I mean, he's he's not acting. That he's being himself. He's he's funny. He's always funny. <laughs> well, man, thanks so much for your time. It's an honor to meet you. You're a good guy. Give me one of them. Give me a brotherly hugs from Nashville. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. And uh, my my uh, duet partner got called away to do the uh, CMT awards. So I'm like, um, I think I'll try to get this guy. My daddy who uh, wrote the songs we're gonna do, Country Music Hall of Fame songwriter, Bobby Brett. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're all related by music, so it's really cool to be here. But this is a medley of songs. Uh, there's one, Georgia Dead, which is awesome, and but these are all songs that Daddy uh, and Tammy, or Tammy and George, had a lot of success with. He said, hold on, Patricia, I only tried to kiss you. She said, okay, and then said, don't you dare. She seemed so bad and shaking. He thought he was mistaken. If you are listening, Lord, please show me what to do. Try. I'm trying hard to be what Mama says is good. As I slip into my woman, Lord. Uh, we're going to start with a song that he wrote with John Prine that um, a bunch of people have recorded. John Prine, Johnny Cash, Gil Davies, and... Tammy did a really beautiful version of it. It's called Unwed Fathers. In an Appalachian Graham station, she said they're waiting in a family way. Goodbye, brother. Tell mom I love her. Tell all the others I'll write someday. From teenage lover to unwed mother, kept under cover like some bad dream. But unwed fathers, well, they can't be bothered. They run like water through a mountain stream. In a cold and gray town, a nurse says, lay down. This ain't no playground, honey, this ain't home. Someone's children. Having children in a cold gray building and all alone. From teenage lover to one wet mother, kept under cover like some bad dream. But unwed fathers, well, they can't be bothered. They run like water through a mountain stream. Uh, 
on it somewhere else bound. Nighttime greyhound, she holds her head down, humming lullabies, scared and crazy. She holds her baby, says, I think, well, maybe you got your daddy's eyes. From teenage lover to unwed mother, kept undercover. Like some bad dream, but unwed fathers, where well, they can't be bothered, they run like water.